Hello, get the Tories out. Hello, my name's Andrew Godsell, and I'm one of about 13 million people in Britain with a Twitter account, and it seems a lot of us spend a lot of time debating politics on Twitter. Now, one of the hashtags that I use a lot is GTTO, which is short for get the Tories out. And um, now, obviously, the Tories won general election six months ago, and um, there's been a lot of debate since then about why it, how this happened, what happens next, and I suggested on Twitter um, the idea of bringing out a, a short book, look, bringing together some of this content. So, recently arrived, here it is, get the Tories out, front cover, the spine, and the back cover. Um, so the book is a combination of Twitter threads, blog pieces, and also some chapters specifically written for the book. We look at the, we analyse the reasons for the general election result, and we also look back over the decade of conservative rule. It's been a decade of austerity, poverty for millions of people, increasing privatisation of the NHS and other public services, the hostile environment towards immigrants, the scandals of Windrush and Grenfell, government complacency over the climate emergency, and in recent months, obviously, Britain has one of the highest death tolls from COVID. It's, it's a very sad tale. Um, now, one of the, one of the, the, the major considerations obviously is that the, the Tories apparently won the election because they had the clear get Brexit done message. Um, all I can say is four years ago at the referendum we were told by Tory Brexiteers that within two years we would have an extra £350 million a week for the NHS and lots of great, great trade deals with Europe and the rest of the world within two years. Four years later, none of it's been delivered, and that is one of the many reasons why we carry on fighting the Tories. Thank you.